Hey, howdy guys, how's it going? My name is Ali, and this is another Jolly Links of the Week. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what Jolly Links of the Week is, it was just a weekly newsletter that I used to send to my newsletter people for my um, Jolly Newsletter Club. Um, so if you want to join, the link will be in the description. And there, um, and there, I share like three interesting things that I found during the week. It could be like an artist, music, a game, or anything like that. And um, and I just decided to turn it into a video since it's a lot easier for me to just talk directly to a camera and tell you guys about it, you know, than actually sitting to write it down. I think that's a lot faster for me to actually just do this. So yeah, so this is this week's, and I wanna share you three things this week, which are pretty cool. So yeah, without further ado, let's just start. Alrighty, so the first one is something that I talked about last week anyway, but I just wanted to talk about it again, which is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So yeah, my wife and I got this game last weekend and we started playing it. And man, this game has so much. This game has a lot of stuff that I'm not happy with. The story is a bit inconsistent. It doesn't really go well with what they're trying to do. At least so far, I'm not... I'm getting to like halfway of the game, I think, but yeah, it's not looking well so far and the gameplay kind of gets a little stale, you know, with just throwing the Pokeballs and they eliminated like half of the gameplay, which was the actual battling. They turned it into more just throwing Pokeballs at Pokemon. Yeah, so that I'm not really happy with, but you know what? I still freaking love this game. You could call it, it's like a, uh, you know, nostalgia glasses or whatever you want. But I just still love this game. You know, all that bad stuff that I just talked about, it doesn't really matter. Because I'm playing freaking Pokemon on my big TV, you know, seeing everything on HD. And I'm just having the greatest time, you know, seeing Pokemon and even doing the battling. Although there's less battling now and it's a lot easier. But I'm still doing battling, seeing Pokemon on full HD, and having them, you know, chase me around the world. Oh, it's just so good. I don't even care if the other stuff gets boring or anything. I just want to play the game and enjoy it as much as I can. And, you know, I just can't help it. I just love the game. You know, I can look past all that stuff and, you know, just enjoy the game still. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to feel like this after I actually beat the game and, you know, and think back, but right now I'm having a great time and I don't care <laughs> about that other stuff. And you know, if you wanna know more about it, I mean, there's tons and tons of YouTubers making videos about Pokemon, about this new game and stuff like that. If you just search Pokemon Let's Go, you're gonna have a sea of videos to watch. So if you don't know anything about the game, just just search that on YouTube and you're gonna be just set for videos to watch for like a long, long time. So yeah, even though the game is not really what I wanted it to be, I still recommend it if you wanna get it. You know, I can't blame it, especially if you played the older versions, the first Game Boy Gen 1 games. I still recommend it, it's really nice. And I'll leave a link in the description. It's gonna be an Amazon affiliate link. And if you do decide to buy it through that link, a little percentage is gonna come back my way so that's gonna help me in supporting me to, you know, making more videos and stuff like that. So if you do that, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. All right, so for the second link I wanna share is another city pop artist. Oh, I can't stop listening to city pop. It's just so good. Man, those artists from the 80s in Japan, they were just the best. So yeah, so the one I wanna recommend today is Takako Mamiya. Um, I'm gonna leave a link on the description, you know, with a YouTube link for her full album that you can listen to. And man, that album is amazing. It's just one of the top favorites for like most people that like city pop. Her music is just so enjoyable, you know, with nice funky tunes and oh, it's just the best. So if you've seen Steven's video about city pop, you've probably heard about Takako Mamiya already. And um, he talks about her music and everything too. He goes more in detail over there. So that's the crazy thing about Takako Mamiya is like her album is so good, but she only has one. And then she disappears off the map, you know? Most city pop artists that you're gonna find, like the musicians and everything, they have like a full on career, you know, through the 80s and up until like today. And they have like 10, 5, 15 different ones. And Takako Mamiya only has one. 
So that's like one of the biggest mysteries that I still haven't solved and I can't figure it out. Like why does she only have one album? You know, and it's so good too. I'm really sure that she could do a lot, a lot better ones too, you know? And I tried to search about her online. Like I tried to search about her on YouTube and just on Google and I just can't find like any real information about her. It's just so weird. Yeah, I wish I could talk more about her, but I just don't know. It's like a crazy, crazy mystery. You know, that's when I really wish I could speak Japanese and actually read Japanese because I could actually do a research about her, you know, in Japan. And I don't know Japanese, so I really can't do that. So I still have no idea, you know, what she's about, where she is, what she's done, what she's been doing all these years. So if you do speak Japanese and you know anything about her and you have any extra info, leave a comment, let me know because I have no idea, man. I really want to know more about her, like I'm really interested in finding out, but yeah. So for me to talk about this next link, which is another YouTuber, by the way, I have to give you a little backstory about myself. So if you guys don't know yet, I really, really love animation. It's been like a love of mine since I was a kid and something that I always enjoy watching and enjoy talking about and finding out about. And even like the art of animation and everything, I just love everything about it. And I've always wanted to be a 2D animator, you know, ever since I was a teenager and I actually found out that that's an actual job that you could have. As the years went by, I had to, you know, support myself and everything. I mean, that kind of got away. And as I've discovered more about myself, what I found out was that I actually enjoy more telling stories than actually animating, you know, which is why I like doing videos like this too. You know, these are really fun for me because it's for me in, in a way, it's like telling a story, trying to find out the beginning, middle and end, you know, and try to wrap it up nicely. I know I still have a lot to go, you know, but this is a way of me to express this innate thing that I have, you know, to tell stories. So with that said, I really, really love YouTube animators. These guys are like my heroes, you know, the ones that actually got successful and, you know, actually got a, like a whole career out of it. Like I admire the heck out of them, you know, like from the starting ones, people from like Newgrounds, Eagle Raptor, Rubber Ninja, which is Ross, even the more current ones too, you know, like Domix. Well, Domix is is a little older than most YouTube animators from nowadays. But you know, like Jaden, The Odd Ones Out, uh, and all those other YouTube animators, there's like a whole bunch of them now, and I'm like super, super happy about that. And super jealous too, you know? <laughs> Cause that's like a super cool career to have. Although I know it's really, really hard work, you know, having to draw all that stuff. Oh man, I bet that takes a lot of work. And that's still something that I consider myself if I should do, you know, for this channel even, you know, to do YouTube animations and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I have a lot of stories that I like to tell about like my teenage years and all the stuff that I've done, you know, like some stuff that's happened to me, you know, I think those would be, could be like really cool stories to tell it, to tell it in like in an animation medium. So maybe that's something I could do too in the future, you know? Definitely not this year, you know, because this year, my year is already full. But probably something for next year, that's something to consider. And if that's something you'd like to see too, just let me know, you know. Um, I'm always trying to do stuff that, you know, that people enjoy at the same time, you know, stuff that I enjoy and that other people enjoy. So if you guys would enjoy that too, just let me know. So with all that said, the guy I want to recommend is Didus. This guy's YouTube channel is so, so funny. Um, the stuff that he does, he animates, is just hilarious. Like every drawing that he puts in there is just like a masterpiece of comedy. And it has that anime meme style to it. I don't know, man, it's really, really great. And I recommend you watch every single video on his channel. I really recommend you watch every single video that he has. They're all really, really funny. And yeah, that's all I have to say about Didas actually, you know, cause he doesn't have a lot of stuff. But I recommend that. Maybe this recommendation was more about me telling the story about myself than actual Didus. But you know, that was still my take on it. So that's it for my recommendations. If you guys want to share anything too, like anything you love to recommend that you think that I would enjoy and, uh, and any other stuff too, just leave a comment, you know, um, recommending me all this stuff. I'd really love this to be like a community thing, you know, where we could share stuff that we like 
and you know and if you share something and then i think that's like really really cool and that really you know connects with me uh, i'll make a video about them too in the future next time you know but yeah i'd really really love to be this a two-way thing you know where we could all share stuff to each other i think that's one of the coolest things to do and it's not just me regurgitating stuff to a camera and just have that like a two-way conversation i think that's I think that that's a lot more enjoyable to do than just me here, you know, just saying stuff all the time. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you so much in advance if you leave any comments for the likes and if you've subscribed too, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And consider buying a shirt for me too. I have a website where I sell shirts on ellieget.com and I have a new shirt there every week if you wanna check it out. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you next week. See ya.